What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony with the Rinsed Out Garage. Thank you for tuning in. This week, we are going to be diving into the brand new 2020 Ford Bronco. That would be the other pony that Ford has in its stall and it is a much anticipated contender for the Wrangler and for the mid-size, full-size SUV market, especially because this vehicle is specifically catered for off-road. Now, there are several variations of the Ford Bronco coming out to include the Sport model, which is more of the like uh, SUV-esque as opposed to the off-road build of the Bronco itself. At least that's what I've gathered. Now, I'm not gonna dive into the Sport model today. However, that thing comes in, I believe it starts at like 28,000 and then goes up. We're gonna be diving into the actual Ford Bronco as opposed to the Sport or the other version. Now, Ford Bronco came out in 1966 where it debuted and has been a legend ever since. The production of the Ford Bronco ended in 1996, and we haven't seen anything since. <clears throat> With that being said, about three years ago, Ford started releasing hints and started saying, hey, we're gonna bring the Bronco back to include that movie with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which was Rampage, where we got to see a concept version of the Bronco on the big screen, if you watch the movie, of course. So let's dive into this. Now, I took down some notes, did some research. If you're interested in the Ford Bronco, of course, check out Ford.com. They have all your information there. They have everything that I'm gonna talk about today, excluding uh, one part that we're gonna wrap the video up with. Now, <clears throat> I'm super stoked personally for the Ford Bronco. I think it looks incredible. Ford is on point with their design on this vehicle. Uh, it, I think it's going to be a top contender for those that want a cool off-road style vehicle that's not a pickup truck. Uh, they've got the two-door version and the four-door version, and let's dive into that. So there's seven models available, one being the uh, limited edition first run, which is sold out. You can see that again at the Ford.com, but they have the base model, uh, which is gonna be pretty much the stock, the bare bones uh, from the photos I've seen. It's got the different grill, it's got the steel wheels. They've got the two-door and four-door version in every uh, type available as far as every model available for the Ford Bronco. Now, from what I'm seeing, the base model comes in at about 28.5 and then the four door about 33.2, giving you, you know, roughly about almost a $5,000 uh, difference between the two door and the four door. Both look incredible. I, I like how both of them look. Uh, I think the two door looks a little cooler but I think they did well with the body lines, the contours, the uh, fender flares, and just everything, the grill, the front end. Um, moving down the line, they have what's called the Big Bend. And as you go up, I'm not gonna go into details on each model. I was going to, but there's so many slight variations that this video would be like 30, 45 minutes of me just talking about small things. Now, as you know, with most vehicle vehicles, if you start at the base, you're going to get those base or limited options to include motor transmission, um, all the powertrain parts, but also the interior components are gonna be very basic. You're not gonna get the 12 inch big nav screen. You're not gonna get the, the 35 inch tires. You're not gonna get the, the luxe or luxury interior to include the nicer fabrics and some of the other things that you're gonna pay for in these more expensive models. Now, uh, the next version, they have what's called the Big Ben, starts off at about 33,385 for the two door, 35,880 for the four door. Uh, moving from that, they've got the Black Diamond, which is again, 36,000, two door, 38,5 for the four door. They've got the Outer Banks, 38,9 for the two door, 41,450 for the four door. <clears throat> they have the Badlands, which is 42, and for the four door, 40, right around 45. The Wild Track, the Wild Track's going to be, aside from the first edition, kind of the all out edition. Now, one of the big claims that Ford has made is that they're gonna have a whole bunch of accessories. And if you go to the website, there is quite a few accessories from Ford. This does not include 
all of those companies that you know are going to dive into that uh, that marketplace, especially if you want bumpers or spare tire holders or uh, just a ton of accessories that will be coming for this vehicle outside of what Ford Performance and Ford themselves are going to have. Back to the wild track, so that comes in at 47,000 for the two door and is at right around $50,000 at the four door. Now, one of the reasons I didn't want to sit here and compare each model, it's because the interior features in conjunction with some of the exterior features, it can get quite complicated. And because I'm not doing a Ford build video, I didn't want to do that. But let's talk about some of the options that you will see coming in the powertrain, the base model vehicles or the lower echelon is going to come with the 2.3 EcoBoost versus the 2.7. Obviously, if you're if you're in the Bronco uh, as an enthusiast or as someone that's going to find this vehicle for years to come, I would highly suggest going with the 2.7. It's an extra two grand, or it will actually come with some of those other packages, such as the Wild Track and the Bad Bad Lands Edition comes with that motor already with it. Now they do have two transmissions, uh, seven-speed manual, and then a ten-speed automatic which the 10 speeds in quite a few or variations of the 10 speed is in quite a few of the ford lineup now as we also see with gm and other vehicles now an interesting thing i do want to point out is the axle setup on this let me make sure i got this all lined up i got some notes here that i'm going over um so the rear locking differential is standard on the Black Diamond Edition, Badlands, and Wild Track, and available on all Bronco models, which means if you get a base model, you have to make sure that you're getting that feature added to it, or any of those other models, you have to add that feature to it. You'll see a surcharge on there, um, and you'll have to go from there. Now, rear, rear axle ratio is standard on base. This uh, the 4.46 is standard on base manual transmission, Badlands, automatic, black diamond models, and available on the Big Bend manual transmission. That's the 4.46 rear axle final drive. If you want to go up to the 4.7 locking rear axle final drive, it is also available on all Broncos, but comes standard on the Wild Track in that first edition with the Sasquatch package, which will talk about here in a moment so they've got cool features i think it's pretty cool that they're putting this putting this configuration together now if i remember correctly that jumping back to the motor the 2.7 liter eco boost that thing's putting in a little over 300 or right around 300 horses and i i'm probably going to say this wrong uh but i believe it's uh mid threes or close to 400 on feet pounds of torque um, so overall, I think that Ford has, especially for the beginning of the new Bronco lineup, a highly competitive looking vehicle um, that is going to apply a lot of pressure to the Wrangler market. It's going to apply a lot of pressure to the Jeep market as a whole, because if you were one of those guys that was in between on a on a Wrangler or on a Cherokee or on any of those. This to me is a strong alternative. Also, even in the Dodge lineup, if you were looking at maybe a Durango or really any midsize SUV and you didn't really want that classic grocery getter look, you go for a Ford or now there's not a ton of room. It doesn't appear like there's a ton of room in these but you get a lot of cool style and you can add all of these off-roading features to include like the Sasquatch package, which gives you, again, the locking differentials. It gives you the oversized tires and wheel package. And I think that comes in at about $3,600. Um, and you can add those to different packages if you order it from Ford. Now, if you don't, more than likely your dealer, as we see these roll out in 2021, you're gonna see every variation from a base model with certain things to the next level, to the Black Diamond, to the Badlands. And you're gonna see so many different variations of these uh, with different packages and different items included. It's, it's gonna be an interesting thing once these are available at your local dealer so you can actually look at them as opposed to reviewing some of the information online. However, I would recommend that you look at the items online so you can kind of mentally configure what Bronco you want if that's the market that you're going for. 
I'm gonna drive by as soon as they come in just to check them out. More than likely, I'm not gonna be a customer at this time, but that doesn't mean in the near future, I won't be a customer for the Ford Bronco. That's how much I truly, I, I just absolutely like it. It does beg the question though, is Ford going to do a Raptor-esque version or a specialty version. Now the first edition version is super cool. It comes with all the bells and whistles and what have you, and it's got special tags, but that's not really a Raptor high performance version. Is there a high performance version in Ford's future for the Bronco? Now that's a million dollar question because uh, as you know, Dodge is already competing with the SRT models in the Durango world. Uh, you've also got the SRT uh, style models in the Jeep world as well with the Cherokee. And it, you just you, you just kind of wonder, are they going to compete? You've got, I believe, the 6.2 in the Tahoes and the Suburbans. And so th those worlds are growing out. It could be a really cool thing if Ford goes that route. Now, Ford hasn't announced that route, but you know who has? The boys over at Hennessy already announced that they're going to do a limited edition Hennessy. There's going to be 24 special uh, edition called the Velociraptor Broncos. If you guys haven't seen this, go to the Hennessy website. They're, I'll put a picture up here from their website. But you can see it's got a specialty grill, cool looking hood. Overall, it looks badass. However, uh, this thing is expensive. They're asking $225,000. What does that buy you? Well, we're gonna go into some of the details here in a moment, but it also includes a three year, 36,000 mile warranty. They threw the five liter V8 in it and they supercharged it. So you're gonna get 750 horses in this little two door badass. I think this is badass and I think this thing would be competition for the TRX and the Raptor, especially because of the short wheelbase, uh, it's a lighter vehicle, you're not gonna be hauling shit in the back like you would in one of those other trucks. Very, very cool, but damn, the price tag is hefty, but they're only making 24. So some of the features, I'm gonna go rip through the list as fast as I can. Obviously, it's a five liter V8 Ford engine that they're gonna throw in this custom hood with scoop, as you can see in the photo, or as you did see in the photo. Um, They've got cool decals on it, of course, the 10-speed Ford automatic transmission, Ford wiring and ECU, three-liter supercharger, so a, a big boy supercharger on it, air to water intercooler, high flow air induction, fuel injector upgrade, fuel system upgrade, stainless steel cat pack exhaust, Velasa Raptor front and rear bumpers with LED lights. As you can see, they've got the M Hennessy done out in the front. I think it looks bold and strong. Uh, they, strong as in aesthetically just tough looking. Uh, you of course get all the Hennessy badges. Again, they already mentioned the grill. Um, you get the embroidered headrests and you get a new en engine management system, professional inst installation of course, serial number plaques, uh, chassis dyno and road testing. So you're gonna get all of the information packed into this quarter, roughly a quarter of a million dollar Bronco, super limited vehicle. This is more than likely, especially if the Bronco launches off and stays in route for the next decade, this thing's gonna be a collector's item, something you're not gonna wanna pull up to uh, out on the streets, but you're not gonna see it. There's only 24 of these guys. Uh, I don't know if they've been on pre-order or what, but I think it's super cool they're doing that. I also strongly believe if the launch of the Bronco is extremely su uh, successful, we're gonna see that five liter from Ford in there or a variation of, of their high performance version because there's no reason not to at this point. Establish the market with the Bronco and then give the people what they want. And that's gonna be, I would hope, less expensive than the Raptor. Maybe bring it into that same as that first edition, the $60,000 uh, market. Let me scroll back up. So. Really, it would have all the same features, maybe better shocks, maybe a little bit better suspension than maybe the Wild Track, which is about 50. So if you push that thing at 60, $62,000 through a supercharger and a five liter in it, throw some a little bit better suspension and you could have yourselves a 
moderately priced high performance Bronco, hopefully in the near future from Ford. And if not, I can guarantee the performance world again is going to rock some incredible accessories, not only for the exterior, like I mentioned earlier with side steps and all of these rails and all of these things, but also engine performance and drivetrain performance as a whole. Now, it's not all just about that. The interior of this thing looks great too, with a lot of different options. They have three different packages available for the Ford stock version, from your baseline to your mid-level, all the way to your Lux, where you're getting the fancy displays and you're getting pretty much all the bells and whistles one would want at that $60,000, or excuse me, $50,000 marker when you're paying for pretty much any vehicle in that range. Does it again stand up? I think it stands up. I'm super excited to see what this does to these other guys and how are they going to respond to this brand new vehicle. I'd like to see one in that that uh, dark gray or yeah, that, that dark kind of flat gray with the black accenting. That I think would be an incredible looking Bronco. I do wish though that Ford um, did a hood similar to what like Hennessy's doing. I'm sure some of the aftermarket guys will be coming out with some as well, but you would think once you kind of step up to that, you know, $50,000 mark of the wild uh, track or the first edition, you would have gotten some, a, a couple of other really cool features outside of just a different grill, wheel and tire options and whatnot. So Ford, if you're listening, get that new hood in there somewhere down the lineup uh do do some other things to where those guys that are spending that money they get i guess that little extra bit of cool back to the accessories real quick before we wrap this video up they do have a lot of bumper options and a lot of alternative lifestyle or recreational lifestyle options so again check the Ford website. And as this thing gets closer to coming out, you're going to see if you are following the Bronco, a lot of these aftermarket companies diving in, giving their versions of accessories for this vehicle. Again, guys, I'm super stoked. What do you think of the new 2021 Ford Bronco? Are you interested? Do you think it's going to be competition for the Wrangler and for the Durango and for all of those midsize SUVs, the ones that are more geared toward that off-road market or is it going to be a bust on Ford's part? Drop a comment down below. Hey guys, I appreciate you tuning into the channel as always. Please hit the subscribe button, give it a big thumbs up. If you like these types of videos, we just started this and I plan on doing a lot of other ones to include the Ford Raptor and many other vehicles to come. That's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys had an incredible week and we'll see you in the next video.